Hey guys, what's happening? Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's safe. I just wanted to touch on one technique within the form, Seal Hong Kun, and review a couple of applications. The technique is toward the very end of the form, and you execute a double hawk kick or double crane wing block in the deal model cast stance position. Okay, so the technique looks like this. So on the form, you'll be coming from a right style choy, and you pull back and block. And again, both hands are blocking. Now, the reason why you're blocking with both hands like this is because if you notice a lot of northern styles in back in the day, most northern styles have that, that double ping choy simultaneous level punch, you see? So that's why you're doing that, because we can all agree nobody punches like that anymore <laughs> and anybody, but we still practice it in the forms. So, and even in Chao we have that also. So, but again, that's to be ambidextrous, but... Again, no, in the forums, you do that, but combat, nobody would punch it, something like that. All right, so that said, we're just, just going to deal with a single punch. All right, so, right cross comes in, all right? Person has their left foot forward, right cross comes in from the rear. So all you're going to do is shift back, use the deal mount or your hanging leg stance, shift back, your left hand will pick up, punch, your right hand will strike the eyes. So again, with your fingers, you're always going to attack soft areas of the body, the eyes, side of the neck, throat, groin, things like that. All right, so from this position, you pull back and block and strike simultaneously. You can also do it from the left side. You can pull back, or a better way to do it from the, from the other side of the body, if a left punch comes in, is actually to shift forward and intercept here, and blocking, move over a little bit, and attack the eyes. You can also add the kick. So the kick from both the front and the rear leg, from here, you would shift back, block, same thing, and just add the kick. So this is basically Mo Yin kick, or no shadow kick that's famous within the Hong God system. We also teach it in Jiao Ga, but we're not doing it, because um, normally you see it done that way. But in this form, you're doing this, and then you go here. So the kick is there, we just don't do it in the form, but the kick is actually there. All right, so again, Without the kick, here, shift over, dealing with the right cross, and with the kick, here. Again, striking, groin, knee, shin. Keep it low. So you can use the lead hand to cover the eyes and then execute the kick. That's what they mean by mo yin kick, kick with no shadow. So your eyes, are going to, your hand, lead hand, is going to block the person's vision or strike the eyes, causing the person to blink, and then you execute the kick simultaneously. If you did it from the rear leg, which would be your right leg, Dealing with the left punch here, you come through. Move out of the way a little bit, hit and attack. Same time. Same time. Same time. All right. You can also turn either hand into a palm strike. So instead of striking the eyes and going across this way or this way, you can move in a little bit and drop down and strike downward with the with the lead hand or the rear hand. So the lead hand will pick up. Rear hand comes in, and you can strike down. You can also do the same thing from the other side of the body. So again, blocking with the lead, or with the rear, striking with the lead. Blocking with the lead, striking with the rear. So again, from here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can also do the palm strike with the kick also if you want. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Have a good day. Stay safe. Keep the faith. Bye-bye now.